if you follow the nutrition, get your body fat down, then these workouts are really gonna pay off because they're gonna make your abs pop. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKilly with Live Anabolic, and what do you say we do an ab workout today? How about that? Everybody wants good abs, right? So the ab workout I'm gonna give you today is not just tough, it's fun, all right? So I really like putting together workouts that are psychologically interesting and somewhat fun because if I can do that, you're more likely to do the workout, right? If they're just nothing but just hard and boring, you're never going to do it. The other reason why abs are so hard to get is because it, it, they're made in the kitchen, right? Nutrition is super important to getting good abs, all right? So if you got a bunch of fat, okay, on your belly, it doesn't matter how many of my ab workouts you do, you're just never going to see them. But if you follow the nutrition, get your body fat down, then these workouts are really gonna pay off because they're gonna make your abs pop. All right, but before I get into today's workout, I wanna just quickly mention, once again, a free resource. It's our Facebook group. So guys, click the link below this video because it will take you to, without a doubt, the best fitness group on all of Facebook. We're pushing 15,000 men now, all around the world, exactly the same as you. I guarantee if you're watching me right now, you're the same demographic as our Facebook group. So it's guys typically in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, but we also have 40s and 80s. And it's just a bunch of wonderful guys. And I'm on there every day. I'm the moderator, so I'm there to answer questions and to post content, but so are all the other guys that are members. Everybody's helping each other out. Some guys like to post progress pictures. Some guys like to remain anonymous. You don't have to post pictures. You don't even have to use your real name. Just create a Facebook account and just kind of monitor what's going on in the group. And then as you feel more comfortable over weeks and months, you may want to start asking questions and participate. Anyway, bunch of great guys. They're going to help you out just as much as I'm going to help you out. So check it out. It's free. Not many people give away as many free things as we do at Live Anabolic. So four exercises are included in this ab workout today. And I'm gonna let you guys get a little creative with how you do them. I'm gonna show you the exercises. We're gonna talk about the form, what things you might wanna avoid when you're doing them. But I wanna give you several different ways so that you can design your own ab workout depending on your fitness level. All right, so here we go, guys. Beginners only do 10 reps of each exercise, all right? You guys that have been working out a little while and feel like you've lost some weight and are in decent shape but not great shape, intermediates, do 15 reps on everything. And then some of you guys watching right now are in pretty damn good shape. Matter of fact, you'll be able to kick my ass on some of these ab workout routines. So I want you guys, the advanced guys, to do 20 reps on all of these exercises. So four different exercises depending on where you are in that fitness all right, journey, you can either do 10, 15, or 20 reps. And then also, there's another way to do this, to add some flexibility. So I like to do them circuit style. It kind of keeps them, kind of keeps you moving. You don't have to do the same exercise over and over and over before you move to the next exercise. So circuit style, I'll do exercise one, and then I'll move on to number two with very little rest, and then three with very little rest, and then four. And then at the end of the circuit, which would be all four exercises, then I'll stop and give myself a minute or two rest before I do the circuit again, all right? So here we go. Exercise number one is called a plank shoulder tap. So guys, I'm gonna show you the form on all four individually, and then I'm gonna go through one circuit just to kind of give you a feel for how I would do it, how long I rest in between the exercises, and then how long I would rest at the end of the circuit. So shoulder taps, guys, remember, plank position is basically a push-up position. You know, you don't want your butt real high, and you don't want it sagging down here. You're gonna try to keep it as straight as possible. And shoulder taps mean I'm gonna have to rock from side to side just slightly. So I'm gonna have to rock, tap, and then rock, tap. 
So each time I tap, I'm considering that a rep. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that would be 10 reps. That would be for a beginner, okay? So after that exercise is over, I would have you move on to exercise number two, which is something called a seated punch. All right, so guys, basically, I'm just gonna be in this kind of semi-seated position. It's almost like I'd come to the top of a crunch and you're gonna hold the position here and I'm gonna be doing cross punches, all right? And I want you to turn as much as you possibly can with your torso. So, you know, I don't want you just kind of punching almost straight forward over your knees here. I want you twisting and punching. And each time you punch is one rep. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when you punch, you're not just using your arms, okay? I want you to use your shoulders. I mean, this is how you would really hit somebody if you were in trouble. So you wanna twist your torso and punch and extend your shoulder as much as possible all at the same time. That's where the power comes from. So you just saw me do 10 reps. That would be if you're a beginner, if you guys are in better shape, more advanced, you gotta do 20 of those, all right? Third one, mountain climbers. Now guys, mountain climbers typically are a really good cardio exercise, but I'm gonna add a little twist, and that is a mountain climber with a twist. All right, so the twist is really gonna add a little more stress to our core, okay? So a mountain climber would be just straight forward and back, and you can do them slow like this, or you can do them fast, all right? Now with a twist, I want you to bring your knee up and to your offside elbow. So you won't be able to touch your elbow, but you ought to be able to get relatively close. And then you can speed it up. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 for you beginners, all right? Now, what about guys that are intermediate or advanced? You gotta do 15 to 20 of those, all right? The last exercise, guys, crucifix crunch. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna get in basically the crucifix position here, all right? It's nice and relaxed. And what I'm gonna do is keep my feet just off the ground and I'm gonna bring my knees up and try to touch my hands right under my butt. All right, so it's down. Don't let your feet hit the ground. Keep them elevated just a little bit. And that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Now, guys, as I was demonstrating those four exercises, I was basically doing them in a circuit fashion. So I was going from one exercise to the next without really stopping and resting, just basically the transition period you know, only five to 10 seconds typically. And then of course, I was talking to you as I was demonstrating each exercise, which makes it a little harder on me because I can't catch my breath <laughs> when I'm talking. And I just went through all four of those. Now, I didn't time it, but I would say each one should take no more than about 20 to 30 seconds times four. So, you know, that's, just a couple of minutes, all right, for one circuit, max, all right? Then at the end of a circuit, stop and catch your breath, all right? So 
Just like doing a set of bench press, right? Let's say you do 15 reps. Now you can't just stop, breathe for five or 10 seconds and then do another, you know, really intense set. Your body needs to flush a lot of the lactic acid out of the muscles. You need to be able to catch your breath, which means you're pumping more oxygen back through your bloodstream into the muscles, all right? And so that's what we're doing at the end of each circuit. Now guys, if you can't go from one exercise to the next without stopping and resting, that's totally fine. I promise if you, if you do this thing and stick with it over time, you will be able to go from one to the next. So the main thing is, guys, you're not gonna give up, all right? So you may start with exercise number one, which was the plank shoulder taps, okay? And that might really gas you out. Fine, I'm great with that. Stop, catch your breath. It may take 30, 40 seconds, it may take a minute before you move on to the second exercise, which was with those sitting punches. All right, catch your breath, do the sitting punches. Man, let's say you're a beginner, you're, you're gassed. You can't move on to number three without resting. That's fine. That's the whole point, guys. Not everybody's gonna be able to, you know, churn and burn through these exercises, but I've done this so long with so many people, I mean thousands, thousands of men, and I talk to them on a regular basis via email, I do Zoom interviews with people, and it's so fun to hear their stories where they're talking about how they just started out phase one of Fit After 50, and they were so embarrassed they couldn't do any push-ups. Matter of fact, they could only do four or five before they had to finish up on their knees. Um, and they, then they tell me these stories how by you know, week three, week four, they were knocking out all 15 push-ups nonstop. It just is amazing, guys, how fast your body will adapt and how fast you'll get into shape. If you push yourself and stick with it, okay, and I'm not talking about sticking with it for two, three weeks, I'm talking about sticking with it for months and then eventually years, you will see an amazing transformation. And even an ab workout just like this one will become way easier in just a matter of a couple weeks if you just keep sticking with it and never give up on yourself.